Hi there folks and welcome to my new video. <laughs> I know it's been such a long time since I've last made one. So maybe you were wondering if I was disappeared or not. Oh, oh my gosh. I was also wondering if I would ever make a, a new one, but here I am back uh, to speak to you face to face on a camera. As you know, uh, I might seem a very shy person when I speak in front of the camera because most of the times I speak uh, without uh, having anything written specifically so I speak from the heart, I speak from uh, my knowledge, my brain and uh, <laughs> my, cult my personal culture <laughs> so I really hope you will appreciate the effort that I'm going to make and uh, well let's move on today I would like uh, to speak about a topic which is very uh, dear to me and um, if you have never seen any of my videos go into my channel and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications and uh, to uh, know each time I publish a new video so that you can remain up to date all the time whenever uh, I post anything new and uh, you can also follow me on my Facebook profile so that you can uh, get in, uh, re keep in touch with me as, uh, as you prefer and uh, I really hope to answer to anybody who has any questions in particular or has any 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 other type of contact that wants to to make uh, okay so let's move on and today I want to talk a little bit about my identity many people uh, that have been knowing me for a long time or has be become my friend uh, since a short period of time I would like to explain a little bit um, about myself so uh, today I want to speak about uh, another uh, special um, topic which is part of my uh, YouTube uh, playlist of uh, uh, Judaism and else here you go and today I want to speak about um, Hanukkah because we are celebrating Hanukkah and uh, we are in full celebration right so uh, Hanukkah is a, probably uh, one of the most uh, the hap one of the most happy uh, festivity here in uh, Judaism and uh, Hanukkah uh, not always start on the same date but it starts on different dates every year because Hanukkah has uh, uh, ha is part of the Jewish calendar and the Jewish calendar is completely different from uh, our own calendar and it starts uh, precisely on the date of um, 25 of Kislev and lasts for eight days and uh, note that there is the tradition of lighting uh, the menorah and the menorah is the famous Jewish uh, candelabra and uh, the traditional Jewish candelabra has uh, seven uh, candles uh, to uh, to light, but on Hanukkah it is different because there is uh, nine, because we have a central flame to light and then the other four on the sides. So um, let's note that the first candle of the menorah is lit at nightfall of the first date uh, of uh, the, the, the beginning of Hanukkah. So this year uh, Hanukkah started on uh, the nightfall of uh, 12 December and it will last until uh, the 20th of December. So um, what is Hanukkah? Hanukkah is the festival of light. 
the festival of light um, is a uh, well uh, what can I say is Hanukkah is the Jewish eighth day winter time festival of lights celebrated with a nightly menorah lighting special player prayers and fried foods the Hebrew word okay so let's go into the deep the Hebrew word Hanukkah means dedication and this is because it celebrates celebrates the red rededication of the, tem the holy temple in uh, Jerusalem um, in the second century BCE the holy land was ruled by the Seleucid which are the Syrian Greeks who tried to force the people of Israel to accept Greek culture and beliefs instead of their own mitzvahs uh, and belief in God and against all odds a small band of faithful Jews led by Judah the Maccabee defeated one of the mightiest armies uh, on earth and drove the Greeks from the land and reclaimed the holy temple in Jerusalem and rededicated it to the services of God but um, when they sought to light the temple's menorah, which is the seven branches candelabrum, um, they found only a single cruise of olive oil that had escaped contamination by the Greeks. So, miraculously, they lit the menorah and the one day supply of oil lasted for eight days. So this is the reason why we celebrate Hanukkah for eight days and because until the new oil could be prepared under condition of ritual purity and to commemorate and publicize uh, these miracles the sages instituted the festival of Hanukkah at the heart of the festival is the nightly menorah lightning the menorah holds nine flames one of which is the shamash which is the literary means attendant which is used to kindle uh, the other eight lights on the first night we light just one flame and on the second night an additional flame is lit by the eighth night of Hanukkah the all the eight lights are kindled Spe special blessings are recited often to a, a traditional melody before the menorah is lit and traditional songs are also sung uh, afterwards and this is the traditional blessing of Hanukkah I want you to listen and uh, I will also uh, translate it for you okay so here it goes Baruch ato Adonai Elai heino melech haleilo Ase kidishanu mitzre iso Tzivanu ahadlik ner shel chanuko Baruch ato Adonai Elai heino melech Kimano Mehikyano Zman Hazer Then, as uh, you listen to this uh, beautiful blessing, a menorah is lit in every household 
or even by each individual within the household and place in a doorway or window so that everybody can see the lights when they pass. The menorah is also lit in the synagogues and other public places. In recent years, uh, thousands of jumbo menorahs have been put into uh, squares in the huge cities and legislative buildings and in malls or even in parks all over the world and uh, we recite the special Hallel prayer daily and uh, also add Val Hanisim in our daily prayers and in the grace after meals to offer praise and thanksgiving to God for delivering the strong into the hands of the weak and the many into the hands of the few, the wicked into the hands of the righteous, and so on. When is Hanukkah? Hanukkah begins on the eve of Kislev 25 and continues for eight days. On the civil calendar, it generally coincides with the month of December and most of the time uh, with uh, the, the Christian uh, Christmas. But this is another topic. What is also lovely about Hanukkah is uh, the, the community, the special mm, being together. So we eat uh, uh, a lot of um, fr fried foods, for example, uh, the, mm, because the symbol of oil is important, as I said before the importance of oil so there is this tradition of eating fried foods and uh, Hanukkah uh, is a miracle of oil so it is uh, customary to eat food in fresh uh, in, in fried in fried in uh, oil and uh, so for example one of the, 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 the typical foods of Hanukkah is the latke the potato latke which is um, a sort of pancake, let's say, gamished with uh, the applesauce or sour cream. And uh, the reigning Israeli favorite is also the jellyfish uh, sufganya, which is uh, a donut. Very, very tasty, very tasty. Um, there is also, uh, uh, for children especially, the tradition of the dreidel. Uh, which is customary uh, for children to play with the dreidel, which is a four-sided spinning uh, top bearing the Hebrew letters Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin, an acronym for Nes Gadol Chaya Sham, which means a great miracle happened there. And uh, this game is uh, usually played for a pot of coins, nuts, or even other stuff which is won or lost based on uh, which uh, letter uh, the dreidel lands when it is spun. So yeah, it's a, it's a spinner, let's say. <laughs> and uh, there is also, uh, Hanukkah is also a special uh, festivity for the gifts because in, uh, in the tradition to give uh, Han on Hanukkah <coughs> is not only uh, a money question, so it is just the importance to give generosity and stuff like that. Uh, the tradition is actually to give the guilt. What is the guilt? The guilt is to give some money to children in addition to rewarding also um, the positive behavior and devotion to Torah study, the cash gifts give the children the opportunity to give the tzedakah, which is the charity. This has also spawned the phenomenon of the foil-covered chocolate guilt. And uh, yes, the guilt is this, uh, the, the, the chocolate, which is covered uh, in gold uh, as if they were little coins. I don't know if you ever eat those kind of things, but I do, <laughs> and I can guarantee it's very tasty. And uh, what does Hanukkah actually mean? Um, 
noting that one should spend the festivities in close proximity to the lights, the previous uh, Rebbe would say, we must listen carefully to what candles are seen. So, what are the flickering flames telling us? Some messages are, for example, that we should never be afraid to stand up for what is right, as Judah the Maccabee did, and always increase in matter of goodness and of course the Torah observance. A little light long goes a long way because they keep on burning burning and burning, such as the light of the faith. And uh, this is also uh, important so that people can see the light burning when they pass. No matter how dark it is outside, a candle of godly goodness can transform the darkness into light. And also take it to the streets, because Hanukkah Hanukkah is unique in uh, this uh, mitzvah because it is observed in public, not only in private, but especially in public. And it's not enough to be a Jewish at the heart, but uh, or even at home. Hanukkah teaches that we must shine outwards in our surroundings with the godly glow of the mitzvah. And we also, according to the Hanukkah mitzvah, we, we should never be uh, ashamed of performing the mitzvah, even if we feel different. Rather be like a menorah and proudly proclaim your radiantness, uniqueness for everyone to see. So guys, mm, I hope you enjoy this uh, video uh, and uh, I know there uh, there is a lot to say on Hanukkah but I want to stop here because uh, I am a person that maybe I'm not the best to teach you uh, some sort of important topics like these like these sorry for my language also because I'm not an English speaker I am Italian so I hope you appreciate my effort in the uh, any sort of case and uh, I wanted to make a very brief video I know there is a lot to say on Hanukkah and other topics like these but uh, if you want you can also make your researches and I want you the Jewish people to say uh, your opinions I want you to put your comments right down here below and smash the comment the, the smash the comment button and smash the like button smash the subscribe buttons and tell me your opinion whatever it is positive or negative I want you to write your comments and opinions so that I can learn from you okay guys I want to hear from you because you are the audience and I really care about your opinion thank you so much for your support and uh, I want your opinions to be very constructive for me. So this is why I'm asking you, the people, to put down your comments, especially if you were Jewish. How do you live your Hanukkah? How do you live your holiness of Hanukkah? And write it here. And uh, see you in the, the next episode of uh, Judaism and else. I repeat it. And Shalom and... Uh, Hanukkah Sameach.